99 overall signature series frank thomas the big hurt he is on the squad boys he's probably like the best pure hitter in the game right now other than maybe willie mays i don't know it's hard to say this guy is literally all bat 111 125 contact 107 125 power with 108 vision 125 discipline this guy can do it all with the bat except for you know laying down a bunt but let's be honest if you're laying down a bunt with frank thomas there's probably something wrong with you i mean if you're facing a lefty it's gonna be terrifying for that pitcher because you've got 125 on both attributes but then they're like oh i'll just bring in a righty you still got 111 107 like there's no easy way to get Frank Thomas out. He's killed me multiple times in ranked seasons, and I'm excited to give him a go today. I've used him before in Battle Royale, so uh, let's see. I'm hitting 400 with him in 17 BR games, so I'm excited to give him a go in ranked seasons and see how he performs. The fielding is a little bit low, only 57 fielding with 64 arm strength. Now, the arm strength I don't care about. The fielding at 57 is pretty bad, but the thing is is that I've seen Frank Thomas make so many plays on stream and like in rank season and stuff like that. He's made diving stops against me. So I'm starting to think that fielding stat might even be better than it looks. I don't know. I'm just saying. So of course, he's going to be playing first base for me. He's going to be batting in the cleanup spot right behind Jose Bautista. Uh, as far as other guys on the team, I have Jose Bautista in left field for this game. I have Wade Boggs back over at third base to give him another go. Jim Edmonds is actually going to be playing center field for me that way I can kind of even out the lefty righty balance a little bit so he is going to be there for me otherwise the lineup looks pretty much the same not a ton of variation we're going with today obviously I got Frank Thomas from the XP reward path I just hit level 100 silver so when I got to gold I chose him as my reward for this set of 100 levels next up I'm probably going to choose Brooks Robinson and then when I hit diamond 100 I'll choose uh Morgan and Snyder obviously but I think it's time for Frank Thomas to get in into that 46 hat and step up to the plate in rank seasons let's go the big hurts debut we're gonna be on the road who are we facing give me a lefty give me kershaw hey we're facing 85 cliff lee i'll take that that's not the greatest lefty and we got frank thomas on the team this could end up very good for us this guy is an interesting squad i can't help but think that this guy might have just been using like some sort of grinding team for conquest or something like that because this does not seem like this would be this player's best squad especially with the world series nameplate but we'll see tim kugler let's go up the middle with a base hit to get it going well tony gwynn just lined out so i need bautista to stay out of a double play right here to get frank and at bat in the first inning because that would be clutch two one count i'm going hit and run right here let's go that's a breaking pitch. I'm just going to take the steal. I'll be in there easily. All right. He's at second. Oh, dude. You guys don't know how hard that was to take that pitch. Well, here we go. Frank Thomas, first and second with one out against a lefty, Cliff Lee, taking a circle change away. If I get a fastball, I'm just attacking it. Let's go. Oh, my God. It was a cutter right over the middle. I didn't. I was kind of frozen on it. All right. It's all good. 1-1. One, one. There we go. There we go, right center field. I don't know if that's leaving. I think that's gonna be dead at the wall. I literally could not have hit that ball any farther. Oh my God, I just got shafted. I mean, let's be real. I should have destroyed the cutter on the pitch before that, but man, Frank Thomas just gets a very long fly out. But Jim Edmonds is coming up, lefty lefty. That's what I like to see out of baby Edmonds. We might be able to score on this. I'm going, screw it, I'm going. Get back to second. Nice, we're there. Rogers Hornsby, that's another ball that's not getting caught. That's a ground, oh, it's not a ground rule double. Ah, uh, we'll still stay at second though. I probably could have made three, but it's another RBI. I'll take it either way. Oh my God, that's gonna get down. Wade Boggs is getting a blue pit to score Hornsby. <laughs> hey, at least Wade Boggs got his first RBI for us. Pudge, that's getting down too. I can't get out right now. Man, this Cliff Lee is just getting the business, chat. He can't hang. Is that getting down too? There's no way. Oh my god, I thought Verlander was going to get a hit. Well, we sent all nine guys to the plate, got four runs out of it. I'd say that's a successful first inning. That ball is crushed. I don't think that one is staying in the yard. Tim Kugler with a leadoff home run in the second. He's got to get this Cliff Lee out of here, man. Get him out of the game. He's trash. 
That should be a base hit for Bautista, and we get another opportunity with Frank Thomas with a runner on base right here. He had a fly ball pretty much as deep as it could go, probably a 395-foot fly ball. If I get a fastball, I'm taking advantage of it. Cliff Lee has no confidence right now. Let's go. Am I really going to go over with Frank Thomas in his debut when I have five runs already? While I'm pitching here, Chad, I figure I should probably ask you guys a question right now. And my question to you is, in that choice pack, the one that Frank Thomas is in, you got Frank Thomas, Frank Thomas, Duke Snyder, Tony Gwynn, Joe Morgan, and Brooks Robinson. Out of those five cards, who do you think is the best player to take? Obviously, it all depends on what your team looks like. Like, if you have Rodgers Hornsby, you'll probably wait on taking a guy like Joe Morgan. Or if you have, um, you know, a really good outfield, you might wait on taking Duke Snyder or Tony Gwynn or something like that. But overall, who do you think the best player in that XP reward path pack is? I think it's Tony Gwynn just for an overall player. But I'm curious what you guys have to say. Let me know down in the comments. He's going to keep Cliff Lee in? Dude, he's given up five runs in three innings, and he's getting rocked. By the way, this is not the Cliff Lee from Shelfie's moments. This is the 85. This is like the first event reward, I think, or something like that. So this card is really not very good. Tony Gwynn, baby. That's a hanging curveball or a hanging breaking pitch. I don't even know if that was a curveball. That might have been a circle change. I couldn't even tell. That's going to be a one-out double. Two outs, runner on second with Frank Thomas. I'm going to take first pitch right here. I'm going to be a little bit more patient this at-bat unless I get something over the middle right here. Get out of play, please. Don't do this to me. I'm 0 for 3 with Frank Thomas against the lefty. An 85 overall diamond lefty. I just don't understand why I do so bad with cards in their debut. Maybe I just hype them up too much. I don't know. Turn it, Frank. Turn it, Frank. Let's go. Frank Thomas getting the double play started. That's common fielding right there, boys. Oh, okay. He's getting his first run. That was a fastball right over the middle. I tried to get that high and away, and I missed my spot so bad. A lot of people really like that Chipper Jones, man. That Chipper Jones has been on a lot of people's squads lately, so he's been killing it. There we go. Strike three looking. All right, so I allowed one run. First run allowed of the game for Justin Verlander. We're still up by four. I would like to get a little bit more of a cushion. Like, I feel like I'm completely outplaying this guy, which I am. But I'm only up by four. I feel like I should be up at, like, at least, like, six or something. Come on, get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Oh, my God. Eight speed. <laughs> no way. If this guy brings this back, I swear. Jason Kendall hit a home run. I'm only up by three. <laughs> Not going to get pissed. I'm still winning. But the fact that that ball went to that side of the field is a little bit questionable. Ball four. I think I might have to get Verlander out of here, man. I'm starting to lose a little bit of control with him right now. He's thrown five and two thirds, or just five, actually. I thought there were two outs. There's nobody out right now. This is actually a scary inning, dude. This is line to left. Find a way to minimize damage here. Maybe take two All right, let's throw it to third, Bautista. You're not going to get the out. Okay, thank goodness I at least caught the ball. It was looking kind of questionable there for a second. All right, we got an out. We're a double play away. Come on, man. There we go. Double play. Easy. Easy money. Easy money. 63 speed. Nice. Okay. Bases loaded. Nobody out. We only allowed one run. That's good. We'll take that. Blake Trinan in to face Frank Thomas. 0 for 3 on the day. Come on, Frank. Do something for me, dude. I know you just missed a home run in the first inning. He was super close, but man, I need to get something going offensively with you. All right. We're in a 2-0 count. I'm going to take all the way on 2-1 right here. I'm not going to swing and bail him out. Sinker right over the middle. All right. Let's go. 2-1. Get the pitch you want, Frank. Come on, bud. That's the pitch you want? Okay, I'm still getting on base. I was about to say, if I was going to get screwed out of another hit... Ooh, here we go, guys. Top of the ninth inning. Look at that box score. I have 14 hits in only five runs. I haven't scored since the second inning, man. I don't know what's going on. But either way, Frank Thomas, he's up at the plate 0 for 4. He just missed a home run in his first at-bat, so I'm not really that upset about his performance. There it is. <laughs> Finally, Frank Thomas. Thank you. 
Yes, and it came against a righty. Frank Thomas did it. He almost did two this game. I'm gonna let Gossage hit. Oh, baby. Gossage gave that one a ride. Oh, Gwyn made the play. All right, we're going into the ninth with a three-run lead. We gotta close this out right here. Come on, baby. Fastball, let's go. 3-1 count. That was a big-time pitch. We got him to fly out to right. One out. Line drive from Gwyn. That's going to get down. It's all good. It's all good. Double play away. Oh, my God. That was a hanger. Vlad just missed it. That's two outs. There it is. Wade Boggs shouldn't have an issue with that. And we win the game. Oh, man. It felt the entire game like I was like easily going to win that, but I only won by three. I, it took me from the second inning to the ninth inning to score again. So, I mean, hey, I started off strong, then I really fell off, and then I got back there in the ninth with that Frank Thomas solo shot. Granted, he did have Cliff Lee on the mound, and that Cliff Lee is just not good for online play. Once he took him out, it just became a little bit more difficult, but I did pitch a pretty strong game as well with Justin Verlander, Rob Nen, and Gossage. So, I'm happy with how he played. Frank Thomas, wait, Frank Thomas went two for five. Oh yeah, that's right. He got the hit earlier. I thought he was 0 for, I, I, I completely missed that. Frank Thomas got two hits and almost had three with that other home run of the first anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video let me know down in the comments that question i said earlier who was the best player in that pack drop a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you're new i will see you guys in the next one peace